come. Some new friends gave me a lead on this abandoned coal miner town called Thurmond. It wasn't too far away from where I was staying and it was also on the National Park's passport list of cancellations. So let's go check it out. This little town right in the heart of the New River Gorge was founded in 1903 by Captain William Thurmond. It was primarily a railroad town that was working with the coal industry. And today, as a result of the Great Depression and a decline in the use of coal, this town has been abandoned. It's in fact been listed as one of the coolest ghost towns in America. It also holds a Guinness record for the longest poker game. Interesting little town. Welcome to Thurmond, West Virginia. It's a real ghost town. This town has eight residents as of the last census. This old train station has been turned into the visitor center and the entire town has been labeled a national historic landmark. A lot of history here in Thurmond. Empty. Stopped here. Get some information. Oh, I already have that one. Oh no, it's Thurman. Cool. Thurman was a railroad town. A lot of coal mining around here. Industry like that. This town thrived off of that. And the tracks are still active today. The Thurmond Rail Station here was built in 1904 and serviced about 15 passenger trains a day on average through the early 1900s. This is a really busy town. Well, the rail station's down there at the end of the tracks. The post office, old abandoned home. And the totally abandoned Thurmond. I can't quite tell what that old sign says. Okay. Oh, cool. National Park Service has put this board up and it's pretty cool, it explains what each of the buildings are, what dates they were built, a little map. Look at all the people at this train station. This series of buildings was called Commercial Row. Here's a little bit of timeline you can see there. What it looked like way back in the day. Pretty much the same as now. Looks like my friends came to meet me. This placard explains what that building was over there. It's pretty interesting how it worked. When locomotives were steam powered, this station was really important. Up until the time that it switched over to diesel, and then the importance of that building dwindled away pretty quick. Oh, cool. 
pull the gearing. Wow. Wow. Town hall. Couple more houses on the property. Oh, here we go. Hello? Wow. Nearly every single building in this town is completely boarded up, but there are ways in. So if you're into this sort of thing, this is definitely a place you should put on your list of destinations. Uh, stairs to the basement. Oh, jeez. Oh, these steps look pretty bad. Oh, man. Here, it's just a crawl space. Huge furnace. This must have been the house of somebody with some some money or influence around the area because the house is very huge it's a really nice place looks like somebody tried to do a little remodeling in it this is past repair there's no way this house could survive but it's a cool find not a message you want to see in the house usually house heater. this looked promising The weirdest spot for a bathtub yeah, I've ever seen. It's right, right in the entryway. Cool toilet. construction. Like an outdoor kitchen. Yeah. 
Get out. This floor looks questionable. seen that before this is what an old coal chute looked like a lot of houses up north had these mostly you'd see them like down near the bottom of a house I think this is the last house in the row and make our way down to the downtown area again the downtown of Thurman and check out one more place we're walking the entire town of Thurman it's not very long it's probably maybe two miles all the way around to every single house. So far, out of maybe 20 houses, one is lived in. It's like maybe two. Walking along and saw this cornerstone. Are you sure this is the church? <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's so dark in here. Wow. Dude, it goes all the way down to the other, but we're in the far end of the building. I'll pass. These shadows are just kind of creeping me out. Walking around in that building was pretty creepy, I must say. But it was just a bunch of empty rooms and graffiti. It did seem a little eerie. Well, friends, thanks for joining me today on this adventure to the abandoned West Virginia town of Thurmond. It's such a cool little town full of history and abandoned buildings. We counted only four buildings that were occupied today. Be very respectful if you come here. This is a national historic landmark, not just this building, but the entire town. So make your way out here. It's a beautiful drive through the mountains of West Virginia. If you're in the area, definitely go off the beaten path and find this place. You won't regret it. Friends, I appreciate you being here with me. I really do. If you like what you're seeing, hit like and hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.